welcome to gk mojo today in this cons class we are going to see the topic which is numbers a very important topic with respect to a lot of examinations and we have hand chosen some questions which would also enhance your concept as well as we'll try to explain concept with each and every question that is uh, related over here so that you are efficient and fluent in solving each and every question related to this topic so let's get started so what is the basic concept of unit digits of higher powers so a lot of times this question will pop up in a lot of uh, exams you will need to solve questions in which you need to calculate the unit digit of the high power all right of a high power so in such what we do is we follow a very simple rule all right so this rule many no, uh, not many people have known this rule what you do is uh, suppose there is a number a to the power b all right there is a number a to the power b you need to find out the units digit of this expression so in this case what you will do is just focus on the power of this expression which is b all right divide this b by 4 okay so what is the probability now now you have to just check the remainder so what would be the probability of having the remainder it can be either 1 it can be 2 3 or 0 all right so in short you have divided this power by 4 and now you would get uh, four different cases you will either get remainder as 1 2 3 or 0 all right when you get remainder as 1 just take the unit digit of this complete number suppose this is 2 3 4 5 e all right just take the unit digit and raise it to 1 that would be a unit digit for this complete expression if the remainder is 2 just take the unit digit raise it to the power 2 all right if the remainder is 3 similarly take the unit digit and raise it to the power 3 now this is something different if the remainder is 0 then take unit digit and raise it to the power 4 so you should know this basic rule all right so if suppose the number is 1 2 3 all right to the power say 41 what you'll do is divide this 41 by 4 you'll have remainder as 1 right and the unit digit is 3 so when you have remainder 1 you raise it to the power 1 so the unit digit of this expression is 3 all right i hope you have understood the concept let's get on with solving the question i'll explain you there are various rules as well related to other numbers but I'll explain you them as we go through the examples ahead. So the first question is find the last digit of 1106 to the power 1985. So seemingly seems to be a very uh, harsh calculation and a lot of you will be uh, confused in it. So not just the numbers uh, chapter as a whole but even if this question comes in any part of your mathematics uh, during the examination suppose you are solving some data interpretation or something else. So even if you have got four options and you can figure out the unit digit of this expression, you'll be able to solve the question within seconds, right? So that is the advantage. So keep one thing in mind. 6 to the power even gives unit digit as 6 and 6 to the power odd gives unit digit as 6 only. So raise anything to the power 6, you will get the unit digit as 6 only. So whatever this number be, however high this number be, the unit digit will be 6 all right the unit digit will be 6 hence the answer to this question is 6 so the next question is find the last digit of 234 to the power 678 okay so again write down one rule so as we are going through some questions i am giving you rules so i hope you are writing writing them down like i gave you for the power of 6 so whenever there is a 4 to the power odd the unit digit is 4 only and whenever it's 4 to the power even the unit digit is 6 okay you can cross check 4 to the power 1 is 4 4 to the power 2 is 6 i mean 16 so the unit digit is 6 all right so in turn 2 3 4 to the power 6 7 8 this is even so 4 to the power always consider only the last digit 4 to the power even it will give you unit digit as 6 hence the correct answer to this question is 6 so find the last digit of 5479 to the power 679 so here we are dealing in the digit 9 to the power 679 so just consider this part all right so write down the thumb rule 
नाइन टू द पावर ऑड इज ऑलवेज नाइन एंड नाइन टू द पावर इवन इज ऑलवेज वन हैंस दिस इज एन ऑड नंबर सो द यूनिट डिजिट ओवर योर विल बी नाइन हैंस द करेक्ट आंसर टू द क्वेश्चन इज नाइन इट सेल्फ सो नाउ वी हैव फाइंड द लास्ट डिजिट ऑफ थ्री जीरो वन एट टू द पावर टू जीरो वन नाइन ओके सो थ्री जीरो वन एट टू द पावर टू जीरो वन नाइन सो आई हैड गिवेन यू अ रूल राइट सो डिवाइड दिस पावर बाय फोर यू विल फाइंड दैट द रिमाइंडर इज थ्री ओवर ईयर और राइट सो वेन यू हैव अ रिमाइंडर थ्री यू विल टेक द यूनिट डिजिट विच इज एट एंड रिजिट टू द पावर थ्री All right. So what you get? Five one two. What is the last digit? It is two. Hence the last digit of this complete expression is two. All right. I hope you have understood this. So find the last digit of five zero one four to the power two zero one four. So many of you will be enticed in doing this by dividing this by four and all that stuff. All right. No need to do that. I have already told you four to the power even gives you unit digit as six. Right, I have given you this thumb rule before, so I hope you know when to apply the concepts and when not to. All right, so the last unit digit of this expression is six itself, since two zero one four is an even number. So the next question is find the last digit of this eleven to the power eleven into twenty two to the power twenty two into thirty three to the power thirty three and so on up till ninety nine to the power ninety nine. So seemingly a complicated question, a very interesting question, but in the sense. so how many of you would do this by multi by taking out unit digit of each of the expression and then multiplying it all right so you have to end it take out nine expression nine unit digits and multiply them not a easy task but if you do this smartly this is very easy focus on this 5 to the power anything even or odd gives you unit digit as 5 only and whenever the unit digit is 5 and you multiply it with any even number All right, there are many even numbers over here. You get zero in the end. All right, five into any even number gives you zero in the end. And once you have zero in the unit digit of even one expression of this complete uh, expression that has been given to us, no matter what you multiply, you multiply this, this, this with it, you will still end up having zero only at the end. All right. so we just focused on this 5 we multiplied with any even number you got zero in the end and once you get zero in the end it's going to stay there permanently for this expression hence no matter what number you multiply this the last digit will be zero for this expression that is the unit digit will be zero for this expression i hope you have understood this so that's all in this video please visit us at jkmojo.com all right i hope you have enjoyed the video as well see you in the next video